Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the 053A aluminum door bottom. This could also be used as an astragal. We'll talk about that in a moment. Let's dissect the part number. The 53 is representative of the extrusion and the combination of the neoprene. The A stands for the fact that the extrusion is in a mill aluminum finish, which is typical material. Dimensionally, there's an image below this video showing everything important about it. Let's take a look uh, on what we're dealing with here. Three quarter inch wide is the extrusion. See that that's the case. Overall height of the extrusion itself is um, 5 sixteenths. just be the little hook on my tape measure that's showing it closer to quarter inch. Yeah, it's closer to quarter inch to me. And then you've got, no forgive me, I've, I've read that wrong. I'm reading it in completely wrong. The mortise depth, <laughs> sorry, I wasn't looking at the drawing carefully. The mortise depth is three, is five sixteenths of an inch, uh, or point three one three to achieve a quarter inch dimension between the bottom of the door and the sill. So that would put us at an overall height of 9 sixteenths. That yeah, certainly looks to be pretty close. So where I, where I have personally seen these installed is in the bottom of doors. Okay. Or I've seen these installed in the edge of doors. I've seen these installed as astragals. I've seen them installed around windows, mortised in, typically mortised, can be surface mounted, it all depends on the gap that you're working with. I have even installed these where I've added a little bit of sp um, a very short uh, spring behind here, ran the screw through the hole and through the spring and into the door, a longer screw, so I gave myself a little bit of adjustment so I can play with that in and out. Although it's difficult sliding this material in, you're going to want to... Um, you know, keep that in mind. You don't want to slide it in and out too many times. This neoprene, once it's in, it's really nice in. But it's, it's you know, you could probably put a little lubricant on there, something that would uh, evaporate off. Um, available only in this color. It's intended to be mortise, so they wouldn't really make a dark bronze or any other color. You you really ought not see the much of the extrusion at all. Um, yeah. If you want to talk about that spring idea, reach out. It's nothing that Zero publishes. It's just you know something that I've done in the past to give myself a longer term amount of good maintenance capability in terms of adjusting things when they move in and out. Because here in Chicago, down in areas that you know you know um, areas with a lot of nightlife, you'll have bars up and down the streets, exterior doors that in the summer they open up. They've turned them into bifolding situations. Um, want to have that open during the summer but obviously closed in the winter something like this works really well especially when you have nothing other than hardware on the doors uh, uh, hinges on the doors to contend with in terms of putting this around there is a link below this video to the product brochure which shows this product and two other pages of related items very nice uh, product offering there by zero um, it's available in several different lengths on the website. If you have a need for a custom length, by all means let us know by ordering the next longest piece or pieces and indicating in the comment field what length you'd like for us to cut the material back to. The only real reason for doing so is so that, you know, if you had to take this 42 inch piece, and while we're talking about that, they always send the neoprene a bit long. This one sent a lot longer for some reason. They usually send it a, an inch or two longer. Um, but this one's got an extra eight inches on it. Uh, the only reason to order a custom length is so that if you had to take this 42 inch piece and cut it down to say 38 inch for whatever reason, you'd eliminate that hole, then you'd have to drill another hole because the next one's all the way over here. So if we order a custom length, we'll put that hole for the screw in the proper distance from the edge, but also the proper center to center as well. Screws are included with this material. You can see, look like about a number six by three quarter, something in that range. This, these happen to have a self-drilling tip on them, which is um, not typical. This, or this order wasn't placed that way, but it did ship that way. 
Zero is a full line manufacturer of all things commercial weather stripping related, uh, but even more so, what I think of them as uh, is a company that has unique solutions to problems, uh, very elegant solutions. They do a lot of work with sound transmission control weather stripping. They do a lot of work with intumescent material, a material that expands if a door is in a fire situation to seal any gaps. They do uh, work with uh, cam lift hinges, a hinge that will take the door up and out of the opening as it opens. Really unique situations and many other things. If you're in construction uh, and you make a living in the construction industry, absolutely flip through their catalog just to familiarize with yourself with these unique things that they have. It might be services that you could provide down the road um, You know, if you've got a solution for somebody's problem. Any questions on the Zero 53A? Aluminum door bottom with a solid neoprene. Neoprene, uh, I should say, is very high performance in terms of extreme temperatures, exposure to UV. Uh, or any other Zero product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you very much.